So yeah, I'm a weirdo, and I recently got Netflix, and I've been on a horror movie binge over the past, like, week, when I've had some free time. I've been watching various horror movie stuff, uh, be it that show Paranormal State, which I don't know. It's, I don't know what to think of that show, really. I think hucksters come to mind, but it gets me thinking, it gets me a little scared too though, so I guess I do like the show, so I can't really knock it, but also, but you know, just watching uh, different horror movies, watching these um, reality-ish based horror movies like Paranormal Entity, Paranormal Activity. Paranormal Activity was first. And uh, Paranormal Entity was direct bite off of Paranormal Activity. Maybe a bit more extreme because they did show some nudity. Tits and clit. They did show some tits in that. But nonetheless, when I'm alone at night, I get scared and freaked out. I guess that's what I like in a strange way. Um, I've always enjoyed being scared for some reason. I don't know, it's like a thrill. It's like some people, <clears throat> some people don't like it and some people run away from it. You know, you talk to people and you'll be surprised, like, do you like horror movies? And a lot of people, they don't, they don't, it, they don't like that feeling of being uncomfortable in that way. And for some reason... I don't know. I don't know if I'm addicted to like, uh, <laughs> like a high cortisol level in my brain or what, or if that's even possible. I don't know. Like that heightened awareness that you feel when you're watching like a real scary movie, and it stays with you after the television is shut off, and you still have that feeling, and it's like hard to go to sleep. I don't know. I don't know why I get off on that. But, uh, I don't know, what's this movie I was watching here? <clears throat> Some exorcist movie. Yeah, Chronicles of an Exorcism. Jesus Christ. 2008. Yeah, it's like a documentary-style horror movie. Um, got terrible ratings for everybody, but for some reason I kind of liked it. Uh, they go out to this, like stereotypical rundown church slash farmhouse I wasn't even sure and it has the <clears throat> teenage girl in the in the uh, like nightgown or like dress the, the nightgown slash tattered dress and she's all fucked up of course you know she's psychologically mentally and uh, you know they, these two amateur filmmakers meet up with uh, a couple priests a couple catholic priests and a um, preacher, you know, like a like a deacon, I guess, and uh, they're <sighs> battling a devil or a demon. I don't know. Let, let's see what I can get in on here. I got through an hour of it. I think the problem with this movie was that uh, the girl that they chose to be possessed was like too pretty. She was too she was too good looking, and it and it kind of like took away from any sense of realism. Here, you know, Which is cool. You know, a cool feature of Netflix is that I have this on my PS3. Um, I have this on my PS3, the application. I'm doing the trial. But right now I'm on my computer. So this is my computer monitor, as you can see. And the cool thing is that I stopped watching this on my PS3 about an hour into the movie. And I'm resuming play on my computer and it, and it takes it right where it leaves off. So that's cool. And this is the preacher guy. 
do your work, Lord. We just ask that you be with each and every one of us. I know, but get really into these, like, documentary style horror Lord, movies Lord, for peace, some Lord. reason. I don't know. Maybe because it's almost like I feel like I could do it if I could write it. What is it, Jesus? I would pray. And get together with a decent group of friends. And I have an eclectic group of friends of all ages. And races and colors and shapes. I don't know. But whenever you look at something, you think you can do it. Maybe they'll show the girl here real quick. And I can take my copyright infringement like a man. And I don't know, I was reading an interesting article in class about multiple personality disorders and uh, how a spiritual element in multiple personality disorders I, I cast you out, unclean spirits. Oh, there we go. Along with every demonic power of the enemy, every specter from hell, and all your fellow computers. Love that oversized Bible for some what reason. It's like the abridged large the print Lord Bible that, that he needs. Fear him who in Isaac was offered in sacrifice. Oh, is he an asthmatic? <laughs> oh, get through, it, get through it, baby. Get through it, baby. You know, she's too good looking. And there's a scene in there where she tempts one of the cameramen sexually, and she has in those, uh, co you know, like those vampire eye contacts. You know, that Spencer's, like, vampire eye contacts. And in a strange way, I was, like, totally turned on by it. Like, I thought, yeah, there we go. But imagine that, like, she's talking all sexy to you and saying she wants to, like, go down on you and shit. I'm fucked up. I admit it. I'm fucked up. I got turned on by it. And, like, I was thinking, like, I want to ask my girlfriend, like, can we maybe, like, get those? And, uh, you know, he could say some fucked up shit to me. And that's how fucked up I am. Oh. But <laughs> the quintessential horror movie of all time, any horror movie, is The Exorcist. The Exorcist, the first one that came out, I believe, in 73 with uh, Linda Blair and Ellen Bernstein. Mox Van Skidow, if I said it right. That is the scariest horror movie of all time. I don't care what anyone says. That movie fucking keeps me up at night every time I watch it. And with all the special effects and lights and gimmickry, and I give credit to this film because they're not using special effects. This is straight up, uh, not special effects in the terms of like computer, you know, CGI and stuff, but. The stuff that they did in The Exorcist was scary as shit. But yeah, it's, this isn't scary. It's more amusing. But... You know, there's people that have multiple personality disorders that can, could, they, the, 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 the one dimension of their personality that they could reveal to you could be a very violent personality like this, I think probably minus the eyes, minus those demonic eyes, but, uh. There have been documented cases, I know that's a vague term, documented cases, show me more empirical proof, but where these multiple personalities can go from being uh, farsighted, one of them's farsighted to nearsighted, uh, they can go from being diabetic to, to non-diabetic, um, cases where a cancer may appear, 
in one of the uh, multiple personalities, and then the next day, or the, at another time, another personality will appear in that same person, and the cancer is not there. I mean, unexplainable events, and it makes you wonder, it makes you... What are you talking about? Makes you question things, I guess. And probably throughout history, mental illness was probably construed as demonic possession. You did more than just left after that. You fucked the shit out of this. Thank you, Mikey. Man, yeah, I don't really like that p aggressive porn talk. <laughs> you sick fucks out there might know what I mean. But it just doesn't work. What are you talking about, Michael? Alright, I gotta get out of here. Bye. <laughs>